Senti? Question mark? <gasps> I just love him. I love this. Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So the Miraculous World Paris special was just released and I am so excited about this one. I've been waiting for it for so long. Like I said, this is a world special, so it is a lot longer than a normal episode. I think this one is about like 45, 50 minutes. So sit down, get a drink, grab a snack, because this is gonna be quite a long one. But really quickly before I get into reacting to this episode, every single time I make a video reacting to a new episode, I get the same comments. And all of these comments are basically people saying, shut up, I'm trying to watch the episode. And that was put a lot nicer than like how they say it. And so I just need to address that this is a reaction video. So I'm going to be reacting. So if you are watching this video to see the episode, you can, that's fine. But you're not gonna be able to watch it without interruptions because that's kind of the whole point. So if you don't want to see that, this is not the video for you, okay? Anyway, so with that out of the way, let's watch the new Miraculous World Paris special, Tales of Shadybug and Claw Noir. In the daytime, I'm Gabriel. <laughs> what? I wasn't expecting that. Is this whole intro about Gabriel? I'm Gabriel, just a normal man with a normal life. Peacock Miraculous! But I have a secret I must keep at any cost. <laughs> Wait, my emotions are all over the place. Sorry. I can't get over this song. Okay, you know what? We're gonna listen to the song and then go back and pay attention to what they're doing, because that's a lot. Keep at any cost, or all hope will be lost. Miraculous, fear is a cage. Oh, Hear yes! The can change the power of love will free us all miraculous there was no miraculous at the <laughs> okay that song was so good i love this honestly okay this is reminding me of the movie because keith sings in the movie i was not expecting that intro but that was a good one let me go back we're gonna re-watch the intro really quick because there was a lot going on in there and i want to like analyze this in the daytime, I'm first of all, the art looks so good. Gabriel, just a normal man. He's still a fashion designer. Do you see him? <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> For the record, I would just like to say the whole entire time we're watching this, I will be laughing every single time Gabriel jumps on the screen because it's just it's so weird to me. <laughs> that is not Gabriel with a normal life. Okay, so this is Emily's hand, I think. She has the Peacock Miraculous. But I have a secret I must keep at any cost, or all hope will be lost. So first of all, it shows the Miraculous in Emily's hand. She is clearly dead. And Gabriel's really upset by this. Rightfully so, obviously. So this, wait a minute. Okay, so in the normal timeline, obviously Emily used the Miraculous and that's how she died. We know that for a fact. But this tells us right here that Emily also died using the Peacock Miraculous, which means Adrian's also a senti. Well, like the, the other Adrian. This is really confusing. <laughs> I'm gonna call him other Adrian. I don't know if he has a different name in like the parallel universe. I'm gonna call him other Adrian. So other Adrian is also a senti. I think it's so weird that like Emily died and Gabriel didn't try to do everything to get her back. It's, I don't, it's just weird. Okay, sorry. Oh, and then he also says, I have a secret. What did he say? Something about a secret that he has to keep. But I have a secret I must keep I must keep it in cost. For all hope, hope will be lost. lost. Anyway, dude, that intro is a bop. We've spent too much time in the intro. Let's move on. Attack of Shadow Moth on Paris. Luckily, Ladybug and Cat Noir have saved Paris yet again. He's with Alia. Wait, they're watching the news from the other universe? This is the same broadcast we saw in Evolution, which brings up my point. How the heck did the end of Evolution, Summer Multiplication, All of Destruction, and this whole special happen in the same night? And why is Alia his assistant? I thought, like, Natalie would be his assistant. Like, out of all people, you chose a kid? Hmm. We know. I love his outfit. We don't have a choice. Or oh, hair is so cute. Fly, my Kamiko. And Kamiko. Of hope that shines in Alias Asayer's heart. Ubiquity. I am better fly. 
Butterfly? See, this is the thing. I think this special is going to be one that I'm going to have to watch a bunch of times to be able to, like, understand what's going on. Because it's hard for me to just sit here and watch the whole special without, like, pausing it every two seconds to try and understand what's going on. So, we may be pausing it every two seconds. Sorry about that. So, if I'm correct, they were able to get, like, news, whatever thing, from... <laughs> from the other universe and they're like oh in that universe ladybug and cat noir are good and we need ladybug and cat noir to help us to defeat shadybug and claw noir got it also shadybug and claw noir are gonna make their first appearance and i'm so excited burden on your shoulders do you accept it for the greater <laughs> good i do oh i love her outfit claw noir kidding me didn't even get to see them yet After oh, battles, oh. oh. Monarch, who oh. he's here ew Hawk Moth, as well as Shadow Moth, oh he just got cataclysm yeah forgot about that Monarch now threatens to attack Paris relentlessly we're heading straight for disaster I knew it I told wait you. it's in English <laughs> sorry why did it take me like two minutes to realize that this is English I thought this was in French <laughs> That's embarrassing. I didn't realize it was gonna be the English dub. It was Disney France that released it. So I, I thought it was gonna be in French. I'm pretty sure everyone else did too. That's so embarrassing. How did I watch it for that long? I feel, s I didn't even think about the fact that it was in English until just now. But earlier I was just like, oh, Keith is singing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm never gonna recover from that one. Do it, I told you. Shh, be quiet, Mark. You're gonna jinx everything. <laughs> Why does he have Kagami's phone? You've reached Natalie Sancourt's voicemail. I am <laughs> She didn't answer him. It's iconic. I love her. <laughs> okay, then. I hate that dude. I'm glad he's gone. This power is so heavy, Plague. I feel like I'm losing control. I feel the same every time I see a slice of so nectar. <laughs> okay, Plag. Good to know. <laughs> For real, Plague, what if I ended up destroying everything around me without even meaning to? Don't worry, honey. That's already happened. Sometimes destroying is the best path to build anew. Trust me, it's worked for me more often than not. Has it though, Plague? After months of battle, supervillain Monarch, who once went by Hawk Moth as well as Shadow Moth, I love Tom. He's like, <laughs> the miraculous that Lady Monarch now threatens to attack Tiki. Oh, did you hear that? Oh. I love her. She's so cute. Marinette, it's normal for you to have your doubts, but you can't give up hope. <gasps> Alia? I forgot she turns into her. Alia! Shadybug! <gasps> oh, Gabriel. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Please, don't be scared. My name is Betterfly. Betterfly? I thought it was Hesperia. That's so disappointing. Betterfly? I'm disappointed right now. <laughs> I need someone to lead me to the holders of the miraculous of the ladybug and the black cat in your world. Ladybug and cat noir, but I don't know how to find them. I I don't know them. I'm just Marinette, just a normal girl. With the normal I, Oh, she didn't say that part. <laughs> the universe where I come from. Alia Cesare's my ally. She connected her power to you in order to open a gateway between our two worlds. Uh, uh, is this another one of Monarch's schemes? Monarch? Monarch. Yeah. I'm sorry, they may be open again. I can't hold them back for long. Run! Shady bug. She was holding Markov. I remember in the trailer analysis that I did, I mentioned that it looked like she was holding Markov. I didn't even think I was gonna be right, but I was. Anyway, she looks so good. You can have your boyfriend back. They're so cute. I'm sorry. They look so good. I'm in love with their design. Like, I feel like they look better in the episode, like, with the animation than they did with the renders. Even in this world, we find pictures of that self-centered Adrian Agrest. Wait, she doesn't know he's Adrian Agrest? How are they evil partners, but not, they don't know each other's identities? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Obviously, he can only be perfect here, too. A perfect stuck-up brat. No wonder you're a fan of his. <laughs> he's a fan of his? He, girl, he is his. His, that's not right. Anyway. I'd rather go out with a brat.
Okay. And you are right back. Don't move. They are so iconic. I love them. What is it this time? A butterfly tracker. Kind of. These binoculars can detect butterfly pheromones. Their smell, in a way. Don't bother pretending to have a smart plan when all you have is luck. <laughs> I love their dynamic. And what's your plan besides showing off and destroying everything? You know, even in this universe, Cat Noir still kind of does that. <laughs> it's so weird hearing that from Gabriel. Why is it always the Eiffel Tower? You use your lucky charm. I prefer intentional harm. More direct. But not discreet and even less clever. <gasps> There's a little hole in his ear. I feel like there should be like a little earring right there. Boogerfly, we know Booger you're fly. right here. Show yourself. Otherwise, we'll turn this lousy world to ash. I'm having flashbacks from Cat Blanc. Anyway, I just have to say, even though they're from like a different world, their vibe is still the same. Like, Cat Noir's still, like, making his little jokes like he normally does. Like, they're completely different, but they're also not completely different, and I love it. Stop! The people of this world haven't harmed you! You know what to do then! Hand over the Miraculous you stole! Stole? They're the holders of the Miraculous with the ladybug and the black cat from one of the billions of parallel universes in existence. Billions? Parallel universes? Why didn't you tell me about this? And there simply aren't enough hours in your lifetime to tell you even the tiniest bit about it. So... I choose to stick to the basics. And She's being all cutesy. I love her. Miss manipulating you. It's your fault. You shouldn't have stolen the miraculous from him. The supreme of you. From him? Wait, who? I'm so confused. He didn't find the miraculous. Supreme? Who's supreme? Is that Master Fu? If Master Fu is in this episode, trapped like a bug, you ugly butterfly. Join the resistance. Everything can change. The There's the resistance. This world is the proof of it. It's not too late for you. Uh, mm, the resistance ends here with you. <laughs> uh, what in the? Okay, I kind of want to know why Ladybug's evil. If Emily died, Adrian's definitely evil because his mom died. But like, why is she evil? Because she also doesn't know that Adrian is Cat Noir or Claw Noir. Because like, if she knew that Adrian was Claw Noir, then that would make sense. Because she would be evil because she wanted to help him, but she doesn't know that. I don't even know. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever say this, but let go of the butterfly man! <laughs> Oh, the butterfly man. Ugh, how corny. Ugh, I'm gonna barf up a hairball. <laughs> I love that so much. Lucky charm. And a car. <laughs> how are they not dead? <laughs> He's here. Think you're the cool cat. <laughs> Is it itty bitty kitty scared he might hurt itty me with kitty. his <laughs> Don't do it! I love this. <laughs> no black cat is as cool as this black cat! Hang on. Senti? Question mark? The only way that I could think of that happening is if he's a senti. And I mean, Emily used the miraculous to create Adrian, even in the parallel universe, okay? I don't care what y'all say, that's what happened. So the only way that he could have been cataclysm, I think would be if he was a senti, but also if he is a senti, he, he would have gone crazy. I mean, he wouldn't have cracked and gone wild like the other sentis that have been cataclysm because he's a human, so the effect wouldn't be the exact same. I'm pretty sure he would go insane mentally. Sorry, I'm kind of lost. <laughs> Why do these akumatized heroes get all the magical powers and we don't? It's not fair. They're not akumatized. And what are they? They're Shadybug and Claw Noir. And who the cat are you? Who the cat are you? It's your dad. <laughs> she doesn't even have to say Lucky Charm. They just appear. I wonder if Ladybug will ever get to a point like that. He's gonna sneeze. <laughs> hey, what are you? Celeste Cat. I am Celeste Cat. No, get out of my head. I'm not your enemy. I only want to entrust you with the power to save us. Oh, he's gonna look like Cat Blanc. Do you accept this gift I am offering you for the greater good? I do. <gasps> no, 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 thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I know he has angel wings, but like, that is Cat Blanc. Brace for takeoff! 
getting away! From you, maybe kitty catty. Later, loser! <laughs> I love their dynamic. How many times have I said that? I don't know. Dear passengers, you may now unbuckle your seatbelt! The captain and his crew hope you've had a pleasant flight! I'll save you! Don't worry, cockroach! I'll catch you! <laughs> Ooh, too bad I was this close! I love that! Try that again, bag. Why does he want her miraculous? I have to pull myself together, Emily. Girl, you're telling me. Get your act together. Why are you always trying to steal my miraculous? <laughs> like you never tried <laughs> to steal mine. I'm just trying to get rid of you, flea bag. I'd be better on my own. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what I have to say. So I remember so many people being like, oh, Shadybug and Clanmar are probably dating, which I also thought could be possible. But I always felt like they were going to absolutely hate each other. And I was right. <laughs> I love it. I feel a dual source of anger and despair. The magical jewels of the ladybug and the black cat may finally be within my reach, my love. Wait, 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 wait. Is he gonna try and, like, manipulate Claw Noir and Ladybug into thinking that, like, he's helping them, but then he's just gonna take their miraculous? Ugh, that's probably, like, the smartest plan that Gabriel's ever come up with. Which is probably not what he's gonna do, because he's not the brightest of the bunch. Also, I have to say, a lot of people get mad at me when I make fun of Gabriel for some reason, and I'm just gonna say, deal with it. I'll be the one to seize the miraculous of the butterfly in the end, and I'll be the one that Supreme spares! Supreme spares? I'm so confused. <sighs> Fine, fine. Let's calm down. Fine, fine. So, <laughs> what do we do now? It's a good thing I still have a brain and a lead. <laughs> I still want to know how he's not hurt right now. Like, how does he just have a wound on his body and he's fine? <sighs> What's wrong? Your world is so different, so beautiful. You help each other, your partners. <laughs> It's so beautiful. <laughs> Just wait till he finds out who's monarch in this world. In my universe, ordinary people don't even know about the miraculous. It's a secret. They all belong to the Supreme who uses them only to perpetuate his own power. The Supreme? The name of the evil being who rules the world where I come from. Huh? Come again? I'm so confused. How do they not know about the miraculous? Okay, their world is so much different than I thought it would be. And who's the Supreme? Master Fu? I'm, guy, I'm so good. So lost. I too was a part of this corrupt system. In order <gasps> to get something I wanted more than anything. A child. Two. But I misused them. And hurt the people I loved. A child, right? Two? I'm so amused. Okay, let me get this straight. The Supreme has a miraculous. He stole two, the peacock, the butterfly miraculous. Why he stole the butterfly, I don't know. Maybe he got the peacock one to have a child, which Emily used. That's why she died. And then after she died, he stole the butterfly? I don't know. <laughs> okay, after sitting here and thinking about this for a while, I think I figured it out. So I think that the Supreme is most likely Master Fu. And the same thing that happened to our Master Fu with like, like the whole burning down of the temple also happened to the other Master Fu, except our Master Fu turned good or at least continued to be good, but the other Master Fu turned evil, maybe? And one of the reasons why I think this is like, a lot of the same thing that happened to Marinette and Adrian both happened to Shadybug and Claw Noir, but Shadybug and Claw Noir focused on like the bad stuff, so they kind of became evil, whereas Adrian and Marinette kind of focused on the good stuff, so they became heroes. And so he, he was creating like this whole like evil army or whatever, and he was giving out Miraculous for evil purposes. Gabriel was a part of this, and he was also kind of using the miraculous for evil purposes and like maybe emily was also using it like maybe she was a part of this group maybe she had the peacock miraculous and he had the butterfly one and also around the same time like they wanted to have a kid but they kind of couldn't and so knowing like what the miraculous was and the, like how to use it and what you can create from it they decided to create a child aka adrian which to the supreme leader was like selfish reasons and i think when gabriel was saying misuse i think that's what he was referencing anyway emily ended up dying and then like because of everything that made gabriel turn good i think okay i'm almost positive the supreme definitely knows their secret identities right so do you think he gave adrian a miraculous because he knew like what his dad had been doing and like the fact that he was using the miraculous for good so like like, as a way to counteract that, he decided to feed off of Adrian's negative emotions by giving him the miraculous to, like, make him evil. I have so many theories. To redeem myself, I became Butterfly because 
like a moth. I have no choice but to fly in the shadows in order to give people hope. Aww. This is the man that needed redemption and got good redemption. That's her journal. Oh. Really got straight. <laughs> Ladybug, but my real name's Lazybug because I'm lazy in every single dimension. I wish you were Clan Noir because he's the real cool cat. Ugh, Cat Noir, we haven't known each other for very long, but we've like been together forever. Ugh, Ladybug, of course, I should have known. If you guys haven't seen that, um, it's it's a part of the like miraculous secrets. I think it's the cat noir seen by Ladybug or Marinette or something. I can't remember, but she says that she's so in love with him. I mean, like we've been fighting villains together, right? Because there's absolutely nothing between us. He's just my partner. Uh, my teammate is what I mean. If you say so, girly. It may seem like they have more power than you, but they don't have your strength. Oh, black. That's so cute. No one believes in heroes. Everyone is afraid of the Supreme. Who is the Supreme? I'm so confused. How do you keep from giving up? I hold on to the one thing I have. Wife. Hope. Oh, she's dead. I forgot. Sorry. Sorry. Do you think that the other holder of my miraculous could be that other world's me? Well, you know, when two cheeses are made for- Do you really think that the person behind that evil shady bug's mask could be- me? I'm so excited to see Marinette and Adrian from like the other universe. Their outfits are so good. I finally know why Hawkmoth wants our magic jewels so badly. By combining my miraculous of a ladybug with the one of the black cat, you get to make a wish. But for that wish to come true, there would be a price to pay. No one must make a wish. The balance of the universe is at stake. I wonder if Shadybug and Claude Noir didn't know that their Miraculous could be used for that reason. Because, like, obviously, I thought that because this was a parallel universe, the only way that you could make a wish was using the Butterfly Miraculous. But from what we've seen, that's clearly not the case. They just want to get the Miraculous from him to take it back to the Supreme or whatever. I don't know. No idea what that is. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe now that she knows that both of their Miraculous can be combined to make a wish, maybe she'll do that? <laughs> Adriana Crest. I was not expecting a reveal. It wasn't like an, an actual genuine reveal, like normal reveal, but it was a reveal nonetheless. I was not expecting that. <laughs> uh, makeup. Obviously, I should have guessed. Let me let me think this through. So he was clearly wearing makeup, which was covering the little like things, the little black stuff. I think that might be the result of them using the miraculous for like bad reasons. When you use a miraculous for bad reasons, there's going to be consequences. Like for Gabriel, he started going completely insane. Anyway, I think that's like from using the miraculous for evil purposes, which could potentially be what happens to Lila. Like I don't think she'll get cataclysmed, but I do think something like that may happen to her. She could maybe also die from using the miraculous. I don't know. Anyway, that's a whole other topic. <laughs> Blots off. Oh, her jacket! That is so cool. Stop. Stop. Shut up. <laughs> He's like. she literally threw him to the ground handcuffed him and he sees her and he's like <laughs> but like that is so cute so adrian had a little crush on marinette that is so cute because that's so different from our universe right i thought adrian and marinette were also going to hate each other are they gonna end up dating by the end of this special <laughs> please my little adrian at heart is thriving right now i don't think she likes him though she probably hates him so i think this is one-sided but maybe if they end up turning good at the end like she'll fall for him anyway he's so evil but like do you see his he's so happy and his like eyes are like twinkling this is so cute you know me oh. he's blushing he's blushing he's blushing Oh, no, he's sad. Don't do that to my little Adrian. Don't be mean to him. Reveal yourselves. Why fight to get a better life when I could just switch with someone else's in another Don't world? Don't do that. Hey, babies. Last time I saw you, Gabriel died. So, wonder what's going to happen here. <laughs> She's going to switch with this man. Jimmy, no. 
Y'all, I'm having flashbacks. This is reminding me of the end of season five, which is very traumatizing. <laughs> that didn't happen last time. Huh? Oh, I think it's because she didn't use the two miraculous from this universe. So maybe because they're the miraculous from the other universe, they can't make a wish? Thank God. Is everything all right? Yeah, whatever, just get off my back! Just get off my back! Sorry, mommy dear, <laughs> mommy I, I dear. just dropped my sewing machine, but it's fine, it's just slightly damaged. Don't worry, sweetie, we'll take care of it. Broken things can always be fixed. Preach, girly, preach. I love you. I love you too. I'm back on here because I need to talk about what just happened. I didn't ever talk about it in my reaction. I think it's just because like so much is going on. The first time watching it, like I understood what was going on, but I also kind of didn't because like I said, there's so much going on. From my reaction, we haven't gotten to the part where she was talking about how like she didn't have a good mom, but knowing that and watching this is so heartbreaking especially because she kind of looked shocked when sabine was like i love you i was like she's probably never heard that from her mom i mean we don't really know like what sabine is like in the other universe i assume she doesn't really have good parents which is so sad because i cannot imagine a world where tom and sabine are evil and mean well she didn't say anything about tom at least Sabine, like, she is such a sweetheart, the kindest human ever, and, like, the fact that she was being bullied by Chloe, but she didn't have a good mom to come home to to comfort her, this scene hurt me, <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> it was just tied up over there. Gotta take the butterfly miraculous back. That's all we have left anyway. Um. <laughs> Hug her. Or don't, that's fine too. Plague. Daggers out. Tag what? What did he just say? Ta did he say taggers out? Plague. Daggers out. Daggers out. Huh. Just. How come the Supreme never told us that merging our Kwamis would grant us any wish we wanted? <laughs> For the same reason that he never told us that using our powers would slowly destroy us. Girly Pop, I could have told you that. No wish will save us. Not with your miraculous no. <laughs> Ew, I forgot. I forgot about him. And I am also your best <laughs> chance at having your wishes granted. Are you willing to work with me, or would you rather keep on- <laughs> He goes- <laughs> We'll do anything to get their hands on my miraculous. Even in the darkest of nights, they won't escape my sight. <gasps> Night vision is back! Are you sure your simple plan is gonna work, your highness? My plan is foolproof. They will show up. Foolproof? None of your plans are foolproof because you get defeated every time. Ladybug and Cat Noir always show up in the end. And defeat you. Your friend Marinette, is she safe? And she's confirmed with me that she's okay. <laughs> His face. And even though Alia recorded it all, no matter how much I think about it, play it back to myself, I can't find any plan against a trap like this. This is reminding me of Strike Back. Er, Risk. It was Risk. No, it was Strike Back. I don't know. Milady. <laughs> I know you're having a hard time right now. Just the way he grabs her hand. <laughs> you may not believe in yourself anymore, but I believe in you more than ever. That's so cute. He's right. Don't lose hope. I'm sure there's a solution. I do have an idea, but I'm afraid it might be too convoluted. They're always pretty convoluted. The miraculous of the butterfly has a limited range. Past a certain distance, he can't keep in touch with the Akumas or the people he Akumatized. We'll need to get far enough away from Paris to be out of Monarch's reach, so butterfly can- Butterfly? I can't get over that name. As long as we're far away, he won't be able to remove her power. That's right, Cat Noir. Next, Butterfly will lend me the Butterfly Miraculous. Okay, I love the filter on this. Like, the, like, dark, but still, like, light. Uh, it's cool. Light wings fall. This way, I'll create a second superhero with a specially crafted superpower designed to protect Cat Noir. She uses both Miraculous. Next, we'll hide the object into which the Kamiko will have landed into the parallel world. Where it will be inaccessible to He's... Monarch. That way, Monarch won't Ugh. be able to... I don't like his look. There's too many feathers. <laughs> it's you against me, giant shady bug. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Surprise! 
surprise, Ladybug. Lady Fly, actually. Nice to meet you. Oh, I love Rabbit. It's so cute. I really don't think it's my favorite unification, but it's up there. Oh, could it be that it's just an illusion? Oh, wow, crazy. I love his acting. I hope you like a positively clawsome cat fight. <gasps> what are you smiling at? With the right catitude, anything is possible! I just love him. I think Bryce has the perfect voice for like all the cat puns because he just gives off like such dad vibes. She has a boyfriend who thinks she's a total loser. Who is this man? Is it Kim? Ugh. Go date Adrian. He's in love with her. It was so, I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about that Adrian that scene. It was so cute. I'm the opposite of you. All I've gotten is pain and suffering from that horrible Chloe Bourgeois who made me suffer throughout my entire life. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but I remember everybody being like, oh, Chloe's probably like an absolute angel in the other universe. No, she's not. You know, it's just a legend, right? Yes, I know. I know I am a legend. I meant the Ooh. one about cat. They're at the pool. Okay. I'm kind of nervous for this part because everybody is saying that the pool scene was so good. I didn't know what this entails. I, I don't know anything about the pool scene. Everyone said it's so good and it has to do with Adrian. So I'm kind of, I'm scared. It's not like water. Ugh. Cats don't like water. Well, that's not. Why is there no water in the pool? I hate water <laughs> and swimming pools and conceited cats. Conceited cats, conceited cats. Hmm. Hey now, I don't hear a pun there. That's pretty unusual coming from you. Yeah, I love Cat Noir and Claw Noir because it's just them making cat puns. <laughs> Back and forth. Like, that's all they've been doing this whole entire episode. We can make a wish by merging it with the cockroaches. Merging these two miraculous is too powerful. There would be a great price to pay. <sighs> Nothing is too powerful. And there's no price too high to pay if it would bring my mother back. Oh. She's gone! And my father doesn't care! He's too busy designing dresses and costumes! Busy creating things like he's already moved on! He's already moved on? Is he dating? Is he... D okay, I did not say this in this video, but before I was filming this, I was like, imagine in this episode, Gabriel's married. Like, he got married to Natalie. <laughs> Am I right? Also, I don't know why Claw Noir is saying this because what he's describing is basically our universe Gabriel to our Adrian. <laughs> like he has no idea how much oh. I miss her. I miss her too. I know. I too was very angry. I too was hurt. I too was scared. And I still struggle with all of this every day. You don't need any magic tool. Powers didn't change my life. I changed the way I saw myself. As you should, girly. I decided to love myself, to love the world around me, and I decided that I could fix what was wrong in it. Oh, it's so cute. She is. Oh. Oh. He's like, nah. If you knew about the wish, why haven't you tried it? I won't tell you that I never thought about it. <laughs> Everything comes at a price if my mother came back. Our mother! Nothing makes me lose it in Miraculous 
like Emily. I don't know why. Anytime anybody talks about Emily and Adrian, I start bursting out into tears. I don't know why. I just do. I feel like I just have such an emotional connection to both of them for some reason, which is why I feel like I cried so hard at the end of season five. If you guys have seen the episode, you would know. I was like, bawling my eyes out. I literally, I had to stop recording for like five minutes because I was just like crying. I was like, I couldn't not compose myself. And also in the movie, I'm gonna cry just thinking about it. Like when he was just walking and then he saw his mom and he went to go hug her and she disappeared. I can't handle that. Like I cried just thinking about it. In order to bring our mother back, someone else would have to lose theirs. And that I can't wish on anyone. And she didn't want that. Me? I managed to go on living trying to be happy as she wanted me to. I have my friends to comfort me. Hearing this, knowing like what Emily said at the end of season five, just like melt my heart. Cause that's all she ever wanted. And like Emily saying that is what made Gabriel realize like, yeah, I've been doing some brown stuff. I just love that he's so happy without his mom. I mean, I'm not happy that he's like happy without his mom, but like I also am like, I'm just happy that he's okay with it. Like that he's able to like move on without her. <laughs> I'm okay now. I'm as well as I can be anyway. It must be painful for someone who doesn't have any close friends. Only you can decide not to be alone. <laughs> I can tell you about my friends from this world. You should meet them in yours. You'd probably get along. Take Nino, for example. Nino? I don't think you'd want to be buddies with me considering <laughs> how I treated him. He's the most understanding person I know. Insert the one time where Nino was literally gonna like murder Cat Noir. gorgeous. your new look fancy bug it wouldn't hurt you to do this okay i just have to say their dynamic right here is so much like old lady noirs <laughs> oh. <laughs> meow the blonde hairs throwing me off and now i'll be called furry paw or the wonder whiskers or made of justice or uh, i just can't pick one that's my cat noir it'll be yours hmm i'll call myself hmm. Lady Luck. Ladybug. <coughs> Dang it. It's time. Alias is there, mm -hmm. if you'll allow me. Okay, I'm kind of upset that this Gabriel didn't find out that our Gabriel was monarch. I was kind of hoping he would. It's far. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> Sublimation. The power of pretension allows me to choose a super ability. I choose access to any other existing universe. Uh oh. Will he be able to travel across universes and attack every ladybug and cat noir in existence? I'll handle it. Okay. <gasps> oh, her look is gorgeous. <gasps> not here either. <laughs> we got the 2D. I was not expecting that. No matter how far you get, you'll never. Ooh, the comic book. <gasps> her look is so cool as Lady Noir. Ladybug, I will destroy you. You and every other ladybug in all the parallel universes. Will you though? And here, Cat Noir, me and our friends, we'll make sure to put an end to his reign. I am certain you will succeed. They do, but it's a complicated. When the Supreme figures out that we're no longer on his side, we won't be laughing. He won't be laughing either, believe me, because we'll be stronger now that we're together. Stronger together? Are the, is Adrian and I gonna date? Please tell me they date. They're holding hands. Wait, I'm confused. How is it the morning? Okay, going back to the whole like timeline thing, how is it the morning? Because the Adrianet phone call happened that night. So how is it morning now? I'm so I'm so confused. Hey, Mrs. Dupang Chang, isn't that your phone over there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 
that's the end of the special. I'm gonna need a part two. Okay, I don't think there will be another part to this special, but I want one. I feel like we're not finished here. Anyways, final thoughts. This special was everything I hoped it would be and more. Like, I loved this so much. I was not let down at all. I'm gonna go watch this special like 12 million times. It is so good.